Uh, oh, by the way, did we record? Did, does everyone on the live stream know? It's in Indianapolis. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is something we came up with called Mix Up by Minutes. It is a podcast uh, about a movie, and people are going to talk about it, but everything is made up and the points don't matter. So uh, what I've got here, I've got a hat of random suggestions. Um, not random, I mean, we came up with them. And I've got a list of all, everyone that volunteered. If you didn't volunteer and you want to, you can still volunteer. Or I guess, you know, donate money to CF. Say, For $20, I'll come up on stage and talk. But um, uh, the way it's gonna work is we're gonna start with, by me picking two random hosts. Uh, Rick is going to put up on screen a random movie. He's a random movie generator. And those two people are going to start talking about that movie once their intro music starts. And we're going to see how this goes and see how long we can keep this up before uh, it turns into crap. So it might be great. It might not. We're going to find out right now. Our host today for the show you love so much is one of the winners of our uh, contest with Rift Tracks. Jeff spoke correctly. Not Jeff. Jeff. Come on up, Jeff. Jeff. And your co host is Paul. Come on up. Does anyone else want to put their name in? I'll put my name in. All right. Put your name in. Yeah, you did. She made that for you like two days ago. Nice. Isn't that nice? All right, so. They sent it to me, I got it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this. I, I only moderately understand what I'm doing right now. Perfect. Nobody gets it. All right, Rick, let's start it up. Uh, uh, what movie are we doing and what's our intro music? Welcome everyone to your favorite podcast, Dancer in the Dark yeah. by Minute, yeah. uh, with our host, uh, Jeff, and what did I say? I said Paul. You can call me Paul or so, whatever you want. What? You, you just doesn't have to call me I can call you Sully, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, everyone calls you Sully, right? Why not? All right. And Sully, so uh, welcome guys. Tell me, tell me about your history with this movie. Uh, I look at any Bjork movie I watch. It's just it's because I grew up on Bjork. My kids love Bjork. It's just, <laughs> you know, it's, it, we're, we're, you know, she's so accessible. And she just, yeah. we live, we hum her songs, we wear her swans. It's all the stuff that she, yeah. it, it, you know, I, you, you can't get enough. And man, dancer in the dark, funny, <laughs> funny. I mean, you yeah. talk about quotes. How many memes is that? From, how many gifts are from dancer in the dark? I mean, my my entire phone is nothing but memes oh, and yeah. gifts from dancer in the dark. Yeah. I mean, I celebrate Bjork's entire catalog. Yeah, well, I, you know, they'll never release the Snyder Cut of Dancer in the Dark, but I look at it, it's, you know, it's so much fun, and it's a holiday classic, and uh, I, I just can't get enough of it, especially when, my favorite part is when she actually dances in the dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, like, finally, you know, but it's kind of like Footloose, you know, they come down, like, and Lithgow is great okay. in Dancer in the Dark, and um, it's, uh, it's just good, solid, good, solid fun. Does he ever yell? Footloose in the movie Footloose? No, but he says fancy free, which okay. is strange. Yeah, in Dancer in the Dark, though, Bjork three times says Dancer in the Dark. Yeah. Dancer in the Dark. And then yeah. this, the swan <laughs> says it once, too, which is really, <laughs> which kicks ass. Yeah. Well, right now we're going to uh, name the podcast. I'm glad I picked that one first. Uh, what's the name of this podcast again? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the foul podcast, uh, F O W L. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I can't. I fix it on the fucking swan right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, when we made it, the, the title's in Swedish, and neither one of us can actually read that. Okay. Yeah. How'd you We're guys just, meet to find out that you loved Bjork? I mean, it was on a Bjork fan site. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was on GeoCity, so it's been a yeah. while. Oh. <laughs> I had made one, Sully had made one. We, were we, at, just, we just combined forces at one we point. We were at BjorkCon, and. Uh, <laughs> We were, you know, and uh, we were just there. We're so into it there, and like, you know, well, see, we, you know, please, please, start Hunger Games, you know, yeah. at the time. I had, you know, the, I, had out. The, I had the swan off my left shoulder. Sully had it off his right shoulder. So they were talking to each other yeah, while we were standing it was, in it line. It was really great. 
Uh, a question came in uh, from our last podcast, because oh, uh, this is definitely something we do all the time. Uh, it says, what part would Nick Cage play in this movie? Well, I mean, in Dancer in the Dark. Well, that's, a, that's a trick question. As everybody knows, Nick Cage can play any part. Yeah, that's true. That's but true. Uh, if Rick will put up the uh, IMDb of it so he can see the cast, oh, yeah. which, because, well, uh, you know, all the memorable characters from this movie, such as... Yeah. <laughs> the dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I love Catherine Deneau, but I'm pretty sure that Nick Cage could oh, handle that. Oh, part. okay. Well, I think Jeff. Clearly, he would be Jeff. Peter Stone is it? Joel Gray's in this? Joel Gray. <laughs> sounds great. If Joel Gray is fantastic. He, he plays the Korean person who trains Bjork how to walk on cement and dodges the bullets and gets the stuff swan. And don't pretend like you don't want to hear Nick Cage play somebody named Aldrich. No, excuse me. Nick Cage would play Linda Houston right there. <laughs> if there's ever a part that he would play. Uh, oh, Siobhan Fallon's in that. There you go. <laughs> I actually know Siobhan, so that, 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 she's, she's hilarious, she's hilarious in Seinfeld, and she is funny in all the Bjork And films. she was great in this movie, and yeah. you, uh, you've had her on before. Well, yeah, well, the, the comedy team of Bjork and Fallon is really, they, some yeah. really great stuff. They, they were, did an improv, a lot of UCB stuff. Yeah. Check, our, check our website. We got their tour dates up. They're going through Western Europe right now. Yeah. What's your website address again? Uh, www.bjorkfanclub72.com. Uh, no, it, it's, it it's, only, I'm sorry, it only works in former Eastern Bloc countries. Okay. Yeah. What is your... I have, I have Bjork.biz. Oh, that's mine. Well, you got a corner of the market. What, uh, what's your favorite scene, Jeff, from this movie, if you had a gun to your head? Why do we have to put a gun to his head? Yeah. Like Don't worry. Movie. Yeah. Right. That happens. Yeah, that's it movie, does right? happen in the movie. Yeah. I mean, that's in the third act. I, I personally love the opening. The credits with a beautiful Bork, Bjork soundtrack to it. Yeah. Bork. And Bork. Borka, Borka, Borka. That, 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 listen, that's culturally insensitive to yeah. Bjork, mm -hmm. and I don't appreciate it. Sorry, um, I brought it up. Her, her opening as she twirls through the thing. I mean, I have tears in my eyes every yeah. time. How about you, Sully? Oh, when she dances to tequila. I think that's really, yeah. that's, <laughs> that seems really, really good. That's and, good part. That's the, and she's, you know, she gives it her own uh, spin. She's great. And she's, I mean, she's, so much fast-paced dialogue. When you get Deneuve and Bjork, you know the dialogue is going to be snappy. It's snappy. You can't understand any of it, but it no. is coming at you. Yeah. Even the subtitles say, we don't have a clue. <laughs> it says, inaudible Bjork noises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, Jeff, you, uh, you're, you have to go and do another podcast right now. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm triple booked tonight, actually. That's okay. I got, I got a hard out right now. We got another guy that's going to be able to fill in for you. Uh, it says, <laughs> it, Dave. It Dave is going to be filling in. Um, that's not it, Father David, I'm pretty no. sure. Yeah. It Dave. No, the he, other one says... He, he just finished It Follows, so there you so, go. Welcome. Welcome, Dave Palace. Oh. Oh, man. Dave. You know, Kelly, finally worked with you live. I man. know. Instead of dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> so what, what comes up now? I mean, so I, is this I now talk, just a Jersey I podcast? Talk, I could talk Dance of the Dark all night. Yeah, you always you love talking about well, it. But you know, it's so good. We gotta get on our our show though. We gotta yeah. start plugging our show. Without looking in my hat, what's the best way to get to New York City right now by roads? Practice. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say the tunnel, but yeah, no, it beats me. All right. That's just his laundry list right there. Yeah, but the, the thing is, uh, you know, you don't only do this Bjork podcast Dance no. in the Dark. Sometimes you talk about that other movie that you love, which is Movie. Good lord, it could be anything. <laughs> Please be. Oh, All right, yeah. go ahead. You know it, you love it. Okay, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I love every time Sam Mendes desperately wants another Oscar. And, uh, yes. no? and uh, whether it's Revolutionary Road or Jarhead or that other film that made me roll my eyes, uh, instead of doing what he should be doing is Bond films. But no, 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 when he did Jarhead, it's like, oh, yeah, that's great, Sam. Make another creepy movie. And uh, well, I remember you were telling me you were sold as soon as Kanye did the trailer. You were like, this is it. We got to start talking about it right now. He's Jesus Walks. Yeah, well, Jesus Walks, exactly. But, you know, Father David's right there. Easy on the Jesus. He's on the Jesus walk stuff. <laughs> Jesus, we got Thunderbolt. He's already made a boner joke today, but what the hell? We are attempting faith. This is like the fourth book of Revelations yeah. going on right now hey, in this room. We're Jar Boys, you know? We're Jar I'm Jarheads. Um, What's the and, name of uh, this podcast again? Uh, well, this is uh, uh, Jarheads or Tales. Yeah. And uh, 
we, we sometimes talk about um, Jarhead, and sometimes we talk about the monkey film Ed, and sometimes we talk about that weird George Lucas film Red Tails. We just, whatever do we do, we, just, oh, awesome. we mix it up, and sometimes we don't know what we're talking about while we're talking hey, about it. Hey, great segment. Uh, fan favorite. Everybody loves this. Has Travis seen this movie? Let me get your vote. Oh, um, no, he's only seen the Dennis Haysbert scenes. Have you seen, has Travis seen this movie? I've only seen Dennis Haysbert scenes of any film. I, no, but has Travis seen this movie? You have to tell me. He's Travis. Of course he's seen it. He quotes it all the time. He's wearing a jarhead shirt Okay, right so now. you're a no, really, and he's a yes. Yeah. We're supposed to he guess. does jarhead cosplay. We're, head, jarheads or tails, you know? We always are on the different side I know, side that's of it. the great part of it. It's, shave it's your like, head, it's, like, sh- it's either shave your head or shave your ass, and, you get in, and then you go to the back. It's like, head. pardon the interruption, but for forgotten Sam Mendes films. <laughs> all right, well, here comes Travis to tell us. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Guess I'm shaving my head again. There you go. Oh, man. Uh, Can you put the hat back on? Jesus. Right. Sully, it's, <laughs> Sully, it's time for you to go. Oh, okay, uh, thank correct. you so much. Um, but A.A. Ron is going to be joining us I'm gonna go up watch on stage. Head again. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, we got rec- to record with Jim tomorrow. Hey. Aaron's going to come up and continue talking about Jarhead. Or randomly talk about a third movie. Oh, man. Good. It's great to have you back on the show. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it's my fifth time back. Uh, yep. Yeah, flew in from uh, Guatemala today. I'm tired. How's that rash? Uh, it's it's still hurting a little bit. It hurts to sit. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit here too much longer because, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still soaked. Yeah. I, do you have a towel? <laughs> <laughs> I went through all my napkins with all the right, sauce. Right. I'm sorry. No problem. We well, gotta keep that ass hydrated. Hey, you know, speaking of of, of swamp ass, like yeah. Jarhead, doesn't that have like a lot of swamp ass? You tell us, you saw it. I, I mean, I, it's your pocket. I don't think so. It's, it's like a desert, right? And they probably, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> well, Sarsgaard's like, we gotta keep the asses wet, you know. And, and Jake keeps yelling at him about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, well I, instead I just, of talking about Jarhead, which no, he's not as familiar with, let's no, talk about no, the no, movie no. Aaron's really here for. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, uh, <laughs> the fifth element. Chris was always on my ass when I did this. Oh, Chris was up my ass. <laughs> She's like, we did it. Come on. I was like, I don't think you hit everything. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you and John really covered it. You know, so something, had... something that the fifth element it didn't cover. Mm-hmm. Can you pitch me the sequel? Ah. Well, I know it's a little the, the sixth element. Uh, the sixth <laughs> element. <laughs> Easy joke. I thought it was the seventh element. Oh, you think we should go? Is right love now? the sixth element? No, 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 no. Yeah. It was already made. Uh, it was made by a guy named Bitus. I don't know if you. Uh, Is this real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you never heard that song? No. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna leave. That I mean, for yes, you guys and, to enjoy. And? Yeah, I'll leave that to you guys to enjoy. But um, no. Anyways, yeah, this movie is great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really like Mila. There's the post, Jovovich. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there. Uh, totally. Totally different from how I remember it. Um, <laughs> I don't think Bruce Willis remembers being in it. That's was a, I didn't mean that. Like, that, oh no, my God, Jesus yeah. Christ. too soon. Ah, yeah. oh, forget it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to swallow. Now I know. I know you think it's cliche when we talk when we bring the Rock in for the sequel, but we really wanted to juice it up. Is that the Rock? I think. <laughs> Is that the rock? Is he the rock or uh, George Clooney's cousin? They're both the same person. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> well, wait. Now, who's the who's this guy? Over that's there? that's Simon Pegg with a mustache. Okay. Wait, is this movie out for real? <laughs> you guys are covering this. Yeah. Is that one of the Day Chanels? <laughs> that's Paquin. Oh, good. For yeah, it's great. And the taxi cab is back. Oh, See, yeah. They we let him t- drive a taxi again? We all know yeah. that taxi cab has no credits. There's no way you could be driving yeah, that thing. No. And what's this thing over here? Is that like some sort of blue tank? Or all right. Yeah. In between this, okay. uh, yeah. guys, so you guys talked about that. I'm sorry. The biggest thing is it's the po- point in the show when you need to talk about our sponsor. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that is. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, so our sponsor is. Um, um, oh, shoot. It's Rick, um, do you have a. Well, you got the check for them the other day. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is. Uh, oh yep. yeah, I was the just Andes. about to. No, 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 no. It's Silver Bond medicated powder. 
Yeah. All right. It's it's not Silver quite bond. as expensive. Silver bond is that worse than gold bond? Yeah. It, no, it's way, way worse. Way worse. This is, which is why it doesn't work, and I still have my condition, but I get paid by them to use it. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. They, they don't. They don't. Um, they don't check the recordings, right? They don't no. 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 Okay. No. No. They, yeah. They, no, they don't have a, They went out of business three years ago. For that, they can't hire yeah. enough people to do that, so we're yeah. fine. Um, okay. But they do. They do pay for advertising, and uh, I do and enjoy. Uh, Putting the stuff all over, yeah. you know, in my pants and hey, that's breathing what, it in. Hey, I paid um, for your flight. Yeah, so you better, yeah. You better I, I have it. asthma, so you know, I also <laughs> like to say uh, uh, our other sponsor who produces uh, albuterol. I uh, can't remember. I think it's uh, it, uh, Lily or something. It's always good to yeah. not know the name of Lily. Yeah, yeah, Lily of the Valley. They, you know. they produce, and they're gonna. They're they're based in Indianapolis, where our yeah. next uh, uh, com or our next uh, convention is gonna be. So yeah. uh, can't we, wait. We can pay them a visit. They do free human experimentation. Yeah, and they they distill um, it and you shoot right up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, right again, in, yeah. Dave. Thanks. It's hey, been not, it's been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fifth uh, our, Avenue. You have to leave because Charles is coming up. Yeah. And he's going to... Uh, and Charles is going to come up and we're going to talk some more about our next movie. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a movie. <laughs> You're getting Rickrolled right now. Awesome. Welcome, Charles. Uh, you're, uh, are you a podcaster or is this just a fan? This is a, well, I'm a fan of being a podcaster. Oh, okay. So I actually like doing it even though I've never done it. He's in the startup. You like doing it, you've never done it. You've got the, the basically the easiest movie ever, Forrest Gump. I've never seen it. Really? Yeah, no. you have. You're doing a podcast about <laughs> no, it. No, I mean, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it today. Okay. Oh, right. yeah, well, yeah. That's what I thought you meant. That's normally what that means. When someone says, I haven't seen it, it means they haven't seen it that day. We're, are we watching it right now? Yes. yes all right, okay. everybody buckle yeah. in. Here we go. All right, everybody sit down and kind of be quiet during the podcast because we're all just going to be quiet and watch the film. All right. Well, let me, let me see. Uh, your next segment, drink some of this. Oh, you know what? The thing that makes me think about Forrest Gump, and every time we have our show, yeah. we tune into yeah. is our mint julep, right? The mint julep? South. Oh, my Thank God. You. you know, and a lot of people don't know how to make a, a mint julep, and you don't want to have any bourbon, no mint. You just want to go right straight half and half. A lot of people will say half that's not half. a mint julep. Well, it's but. best if it's, uh, you know, left, left out for a few days. Uh, yeah. I mean, it it's good. A little it lumpy. gets warm. Yeah, it gets you more yeah. intoxicated. Mint juleps, those are made in the South where Forrest Gump was shot, right? That's right. That's okay. true. Yeah. And if you think about half and half, Forrest Gump itself is sort of a half and half. If right? you had to be in any famous place like in history and like just bumble through it, what would be your favorite place to go? That's a tough one, I think. Oh, oh probably. But we ask uh, this every week. Well, no, I know. It's, that's why it's hard to think of it. 1960s Alabama on a snapper lawnmower, perhaps. No, that he did that. That oh, You're just thinking that. of the movie Forrest Gump. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. I thought that was my life. <laughs> I, would, I think I would like to be here right now. Oh. oh wow. You know, there's no prizes for this, oh, right? <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> you know, it's good. Oh, uh, here's an easy one. Has Travis seen this? Uh, you know, he did see it the one time, yeah, with us. But not today. But not today. No? <laughs> <laughs> Travis seen it. No? It no, yes. no, definitely not. Travis, have you seen it? Yeah. All right. See, yeah, I'm always mad. Aaron, you got to leave because you got it wrong. <laughs> All right. All right. Sweet. We'll catch you next week, Aaron. Thank uh, you. This is, now, this is going to be great because uh, next up is Megan. Megan, come on up. Yay. Hey, Megan. Yay. Welcome back. Yay. It's good to get a new... A new, a new voice in here for our next movie, which is their favorite movie. Oh, oh yeah. Remember when we cosplayed? Yeah, and I it was, was the best. Uh, yes, it was so good. Pax you were was such so a great good. Jack. Yes. Wait, you were Jack? No, you were such a great Jack. Oh, thank you. We both were Jack. Kind it was kind of embarrassing. Kind of we didn't really coordinate. It was, it was a Jack off, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. You've already drunk some of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you do anymore. Actually, you didn't even drink it. Um, the, here's the thing, though. Remember, you now hate this movie. Yeah. So you need to talk all, about. Yeah. It's because retroactively, the sequels made it worse. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> you know? The like sequels they, ruined the entire franchise. Right. Yeah. It, it didn't was, need to be a franchise. No, and it didn't. It didn't. It shouldn't even really have been a whole movie. It really should have just been the trailer. I mean, it could John, have a TV so show? you think that the movie should have been a trailer? Well, yeah, that song, the dun 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 dun. Yeah, it's great for that's, a trailer. Yeah, that song. but is that song's like, name? Uh, that's um, the duet of the people. Yep. 
And what's the name of this podcast again? I always forget. This is also the duet of the people. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) damn. We're the people. We're the people. people. (laughs) The two jacks. Two jacks. Eight. This movie. What a great podcast. We're gonna sing a theme song. You're the theme. Okay. Ready? Ready? You you start. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do the music. You do the lyrics. Okay. There once was a pirate named Jack of the Sparrow. He was a pirate. This is turning into A Team. Yeah. He did some pirate things because pirate things are awesome. He had to walk a plank to save the Pirate, 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 pirate stuff here. <laughs> Capture the goddamn flag. And, and then it fades out. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Mike out. Guys, excellent job. Excellent job. Thank you for singing that song. You sing it every week. It's so good. Thank you. Uh, I'm a little out of practice. Charles, I gotta get out of here. Thanks, Charles, I'm sorry to say that it's you've got to go. That's the end of the jack off. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to like run away. You can say goodbye, but it's fine. Bye, Jack. But, but Travis is up next. Uh, you remember Travis, right? Yeah. From I, that bit, does Travis seen it? Remember that, that you guys do that bit? We do the bit about the cookies? Yeah, the bit about cookies. Uh, what, what movie does, has Travis seen? Oh, God, I hope it's something you've not seen. <laughs> it's nearly impossible. It really is. He's, he's seen so many movies. Is where... I was going to say, Thank we did you. this already. Oh. 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 Wait, it gives you more than one option? Let me tell you. Yeah, tell me about this movie, Travis. This movie is trash. <laughs> are, all Stan, are all his movies trash? Or no, just this um, one? Dr. Strangelove is amazing. I wish we did a podcast about Dr. Strangelove. Mm. Not the cards today, Travis. No. <laughs> like, but we chose, no. I mean, yeah, we chose to do uh, a movie you hate. 2001. It's iconic. Yeah. How? Is it though? Well, I mean, it has long scenes. It has long scenes. Um, I, I mean, it's great when you want to fall asleep. That's true. Right? You just put it on. It's kind of like white noise on your TV, and you're just like, yeah. Do you like classical music? And the name yeah. of your podcast is what? We hate fucking 2001. <laughs> I mean, what? What? what well, I forgot that was one of the names that was thrown out. I remember early on. That was, that was, that was a working title. That was an early that one around for a I, while. I, I, I think we went with that thing in the sky. That thing the, in the yeah. sky. That what a thing great in that title. Sky, yeah. You know. Well, since it's, you hate the movie, uh, <laughs> let's contrast and compare it to Fiddler on the Roof. How is it like Fiddler on the Roof? Well, there uh, aren't as many scenes with Laser Wolf. Tell me about it. And there are lasers in the movie, right? Because it's well, future. Well, What's there's a red so the past. eye. There's Hal, but you know, yeah, he, 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 he doesn't, he can't hold the, he, he, you can't compare. No. Hal. How much better wolf. would this movie have been if Hal had fingers? Well, <laughs> well, I mean, mm. the one redeeming quality about Hal is that he can sing a mean daisy. Yes. Right. And he can, pro- so he can program the electronic music to go to it, too. True. You can get your EDM dance party going on the space yep. station there. Yeah. With fingers, he might be able to manipulate like a synthesizer. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 That was kind of more country, sorry. <laughs> Need more cowbell. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, luckily, uh, one of our guests of the show is coming on today. Uh, love him, uh, David Forsyth. Dave, please come up. Come on. <laughs> you stay. I was actually gonna have Megan stay, but it's fine. She does music. music. David's our guest. He's going to tell us why we're wrong about hating well, David, 2001. Are we wrong? David's from Alien Minute. No, he's from uh, Edge of Tomorrow Minute. So he likes space and he likes the future. Uh, yes. <laughs> and his favorite movies are, his favorite podcasts are, you wrote them down. Uh, Somebody asked me. Alien, right Aliens Minute, Mean Girls Minute, seems like pandering. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Open Pod Bay Doors, Hal. No. Uh, <laughs> Those guys are great. They're great. <laughs> Karate Kid Minute and Groundhog Day Minute. So, all right. Well, tell us, why are they wrong? 
Um, they're not really. I mean, I, I sort of, <laughs> I sort of hate listen to open the podcast doors, pal. Uh, we do often around my house call it 2001: A Space Debacle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, you're not, you're not wrong. Um, that's why their podcast is so successful. Yeah, right. That's why Uni Pizza Ovens is here today. Yeah, to thank you, you to Uni's Pizza Ovens. Yeah. Uh, who's if that? You, is that your sponsor? You, gooey sponsor. pizza ovens? <laughs> yes. If Their you want, if you want pizza. wood fired pizza in it's your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just came in yesterday, Travis. Oh, okay. I'm sorry it's I didn't fine. get to fill uh, you in quite You yet. don't check the facts it's fine enough, that you don't Travis. run things by me but anymore. I mean, I mean, whatever. they gave us like 10 free pizza ovens. I wasn't going to say no. I don't know what we're going to do with them all, but, you know. Is our podcast falling apart? No. Like, no. This right is now? more cohesive than some I've listened to. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, it's like giveaways. We have give, give, listener giveaways. Are we going to give away a microwave oven? No, it's a wood-fired oven. <laughs> At the end of this tape show, you <laughs> yes. will be giving away a microwave oven. I cannot wait. Call, call in now. Call in now. We got it at Walmart Someone, on clearance. Yeah. Hey, if you're on the live stream, put in your name, say, I love gooey pizza, and you may win that microwave oven. Or, or may not. Uh, Travis, you're leaving now. Okay. <laughs> Travis died. Travis and uh, uh, Brad's coming up. Brad, come on up. Welcome uh, to your podcast that you love. This, you're such a huge fan. You're, a, I mean, people call you they like Brad Mendenhall. Yeah, a super fan of. Oh, tw oh. loves twelve months, which, which is um, odd because, and this is true, I am allergic to monkeys. So uh, <laughs> how do you find that out? <laughs> I went to a really small college. There wasn't a lot to do. Well, next thing you know, you find out you're allergic to monkeys. So. Yeah, true story. I had told my wife that, and we were on a date, and we were going through, we were at some uh, event. All of a sudden, I started sneezing and coughing. She's like, what's wrong? It's like, I think there's monkeys around here. <laughs> and we turned a corner, and then there was like an enclosure with monkeys that they had. She's like, holy shit, I just thought that was a stupid joke you make. It's both. <laughs> it's a stupid joke, and it's true that I'm allergic to monkeys. But uh, you know, but it turns out I don't sneeze too much when watching that movie. I think that's part of what drew me to it. It's like, wow, I can finally feel like closer to monkeys. So, Who's your favorite character from Twelve Monkeys? And use the name of the person in the movie, not the actor who played them. <laughs> well, I was just going to say the fifth monkey. Yes, yeah. the fifth monkey's the, awesome. Six. He, yeah. or sort of the Peter Dolans of those I've monkeys. heard the one through six monkeys are good, but yeah, then no. the seven through ten seven are ten. trash. Yeah. yeah, phoning it in. They taste like There's shit. There's nothing worse than a lazy monkey. Yeah. You know. uh, what's, your favorite, uh, what's your favorite scene from this movie, Megan? Um, I think it's when the monkeys decide that they're going to stand up to the circus and not be a part of the monkey circus anymore. I want to see this movie. Yeah. <laughs> your podcast is making me... The person who's on your podcast wants to see this movie yeah, yeah. even more. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen it today, so, you know. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, admittedly, it's been a while. We, it's record, all a we record so early in the morning. Yeah, it's too early. <laughs> I haven't had time. But you. Uh, it, there's a long scenario scene where they're all applying fake mustaches, and that's my favorite. Oh, because oh, nice. it's funny yeah. when monkeys put on mustaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hilarious. Yeah. All right. Hilarious. We've run out of things in the hat, which is a problem. <laughs> Actually, we know we have one more thing. Oh, we have too many people okay. on stage. Oh. Uh, Megan, you're going to leave. Okay, bye. <laughs> and uh, uh, thank you. You didn't ask the name of the podcast. What? You didn't ask the name of the podcast. Uh, well, Megan knew it. She left. Yeah, yeah. We don't know it now. <laughs> well, Monkeying around. Oh, okay, good. Or, or possibly monkey business. We haven't decided yet. Well, you guys do this podcast, but uh, we're about to do one of your favorite segments. It's Liz in 60 Seconds. What's going to happen here is Liz is going to come up on, uh, I mean, come to the podcast and sit down like normal. <laughs> and then uh, on the screen behind her is going to be a movie poster. And uh, kind of like a $100,000 pyramid, you have to explain to Liz what this movie is. And she has to try and guess what it is. I've right. seen fewer movies than Travis. Yes. So get ready. Uh, and you can decide which ones. Yes, you can't use proper names. All right, start describing it. It's like a pizza show, like a movie about pizza, only it flows downhill. <laughs> Mystic pizza? Yeah, right, yeah. Chris Farley lives by this. <laughs> Tiny jacket, what? <laughs> yep. 
Pat in Benatar. a van by the river. Yeah, that's one word. Yeah. Moon River, Mystic River. Yes, yes. yes. nice. Yay. Next one. That's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> You automatically have to love this movie as soon as you go through menopause. Fried green tomatoes? <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, <laughs> Name another one. <laughs> Keep going. You guys that, have you to, can't say you have to ask her. her. If you need to go over that river, you would use a... Paddle? A uh -huh. <laughs> Run, a boat? You would walk and... over a... Oh, Madison, Bridges over Madison County? Yes. 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 Wait, wait, hold on. I want Bridge, the correct title, please. Bridges of Madison County. <laughs> Thank you. That's an Indiana Bridges thing. Bridges around Madison that. County. Next one. Oh. <laughs> mean Girls. Well, it's a word that the father wouldn't say, but he'd feel really uncomfortable if he did. Boing? <laughs> <laughs> I would tell you to shut your mouth. I'm just talking about something. <laughs> no, nothing. Yeah, you gotta sing it. Yeah, Charles, sing it like You're you don't. Damn right. You really sing that part of that song. Chef. Yes. 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 Good. Oh, okay. All right, there's one more, and that's it. Oh, for Christ's <laughs> sake! Godzilla. I want the full title on this one. <laughs> if you don't are... be a menace to society while drinking your juice in the hood. No. <laughs> no. If you are fortunate, you are. Lucky? Yeah. Okay. And not Joy Luck Club. Uh, no, no, no. That's the first word. Uh, and then a, a pound sign or hashtag would also be a. Lucky number 11? Yes! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! This should have been that's the, why she's the best guest in the business, folks. That's why she's the best guest in the business. Thank you so much. Charles, I have you're seen done. None of those movies. <laughs> Charles, you're done. Liz, you stay. Oh, I stay. You stay as a, as a host. Oh, yeah, I host all kinds of things I haven't seen. David, sorry. David, I said Charles. I'm sorry. That's why I said, when I said Charles leaves, he didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Uh, our guest, our next guest is uh, uh, Sean German. You know him from many podcasts. Spinal, spinal, too many. Every Christmas. Spinal Tap Minute, Groundhog Day Minute, next scene a podcast. He's coming up right now to talk about the three of your favorite movie that you started in high school, which you all went together at the same time to high school. Just so excited to be here with Sean. It's been a while. No, what is this? <laughs> all right. Think <laughs> oh, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> Go one more. Uh, I think it's been done like twice. So you're the th you have three people and you're the third podcast to do Predator. <laughs> Let's great, talk great, about great, that. Great, great. Yeah, third time's yeah, the no, charge. Yeah, no, really. If yeah. It's they've covered all the stuff that's actually in the movie, so we don't have to talk about the movie because I have not seen. Right. What's yeah. the name? What's the name of your podcast? Uh, I have not seen this Predator. movie. Yeah. Well, because you you lived it. You you didn't need to see it. Exactly. You had lived it. Yeah. yeah. The, the were, new uh, movie Prey. Uh, that's yeah. just that's just a story from her diary. It's yeah. uh. Oh, I thought that was gonna land. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it came out yesterday, wow. Brad. Not everyone. We're wow. here. We haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Hulu original. Just like me. I don't know what that All means. right. Well, you were you were telling us, um, you know, just to I, I know we covered this a little bit the last episode, but we can flesh it out a little bit. We talked about the same thing um, every episode. It's fine. How your experience in the jungles of Central America, yeah. um, and how you noticed, um, you know, you particularly note that. Um, you want it to spread out when you're in a group so you wouldn't all get hit by the same grenade. And also the fact that you don't have time to bleed. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't have time to bleed. I'm really That's busy. That's the thing you have, like, being allergic to monkeys. You can't bleed. Right. See, uh -huh. Blood does not come out of you. Right. No, only uh, sweat out of my butt. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Uh, swamp ass. Yeah, that's, well, it's that's... you're in Philly. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to our sponsor, uh, Silver Bond. <laughs> uh yeah no we got the same we got the same sponsors that lab pot, last podcast well they've been they've been making their way kind of like that's the why they come, that, honestly the that's undies. why the company went out of business they just started sponsoring all these podcasts yeah, they're really picking up the blue chew slack yeah and uh none of us have listeners so they weren't getting any return on that investment bad investing well brad uh i see that your train's here oh yeah, yeah. um uh, we'll Choo -choo. talk to you next week we'll, we'll, we, yes we will same time uh, same time for i haven't uh, seen this thank you brad thank you.
Don't worry, it's almost over. Um, I say that, and there's actually so many people. That's great. No, I have. No, people. there's. No, I have. I'm, I want to get everybody up here. Uh, uh, next on the here, I wrote down Big Dave. We all know who that is. Father hey! David. Hey! Welcome. My favorite co-host and yours. And that is. That's you, Big Dave. Oh, hey! oh. Yeah. and the movie you guys been... love to talk about. Oh yes, the the uh, uh, Indian classic. It's oh my a, gosh, no, the right. dance right. scenes are amazing. See, that is the thing that a lot of modern musicals don't understand. The most exciting thing that you can do in cinema is just set the camera on a wide angle and watch the dancers track across the screen. Yeah, I don't need close-in pans and zooms and whatever. Just don't put it on a dolly. Yeah, the, the gimmicks that Hooper did in things like Les Mis just try mm -hmm. to emulate what you can actually get in live theater and cheapen the experience of a cinematic experience, I agree. which is what things like Tollywood and other Indian films actually can deliver on because they take advantage of both the live performance aspects of it, as well as the cinematic experience that just make for exciting movie going. Also, they set a dude on fire, which I think is dope. Can you, can you do the way, I love the way that you guys say the name of your podcast. Each of you says one word that has an R in it, <laughs> but the three of you, and that makes the title of the podcast. It's of course, Remembrance. Revival. Radio. <laughs> Such a good podcast. It's so good. Yeah. I love this. Get uh, it wherever podcasts are free. If you, and, and truthfully, if you haven't seen this movie, uh, you really should because it is a cinematic uh, dynamite. It, uh, it has to do with fire, water, tigers. <laughs> there, are tigers. There, are, there are tigers There's in it. There's a tiger in it. There is a tiger in it. It has a tiger, so therefore it is a movie about It does have group. dance scenes. Which are fantastic. No, but I, I do, Sean, from, from picking up from last episode, I just wanted you to continue your, your 15 part series on the political implications of RRR. I mean, we, we got through part 10, the history of colonialism in India. Right, right, right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we did get into um, um, the Raj and um, the, the importance of cutlery mm -hmm. in the local economy. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, it was, it was surprisingly gripping content. <laughs> I was skeptical going in, but you, you really radicalized me on, is it, on the, is it, on the is soup it spoon the, section. That you have to have the cutlery to really uh, deliver safely the malaria vaccine to, you know. Keep, yeah, yeah, exactly. That was very important for, um, you know, for, for the health. And but, the but again, we are not a medical it, podcast. The, um, no, don't take no, me um, advice. We are not I'm, doctors. No. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not your doctor. So um, please don't uh, you know, use this in court. So uh, Hey, Liz, I forgot. What's the name of this podcast again? Remembrance, Revival, Radio, Down with Imperialists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> colon, Down with Imperialists. Uh, yeah. I always forget every, every season you add a new colon. And it's just always yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast is the best. All right. Who came up last? Who came up first? I, I think well, that... you came up first. Yeah, but <laughs> I might just leave. Jonathan has to go. All right, Jonathan Kim. has to go, and uh, Kim is coming on up. Yeah. All right, Kim, this is your show right. for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hand me a microphone. I will not thank relinquish you. it. Can we thank Jonathan for being on the show? Thanks very much, Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan, you've been a really great guest. We love you so much here on Remembrance Revival. Radio, Radio. Colon, colon, down with imperialism, <laughs> semicolon, we love you, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Dot, fun. We want to welcome Kim. Thank you. Hey, hey Kim, Kim glad to back. have you. I prefer to go by Robin's girlfriend. Oh, hey, Robin. did you guys know Robin has a girlfriend? <laughs> I'm blowing up the Discord. Uh, now, of course, we're, we're, yeah, Kim, no, we're here to discuss your favorite movie. Yes. Please. Been waiting for this. Oh, hey. Finding Nemo, that great cautionary tale. It really is. Yeah. Don't let your kids go to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I stand firm. Vaccines, good, school, bad. So yeah. let's talk okay. about it. the East Australian current. That's our favorite topic, right? Right. I mean, so, I mean that, that's our news segment, the Eastern Australian current, because we talk about what's current in Eastern exactly. Australia. So Kim, what do you have current. for us today? What's current in Eastern Australia? Yes. Or in your life. 
Um, because really, we all live in Eastern Australia. If you stop and think about it, we yeah. do. We do. I only know the stereotypical shrimp on the Barbie. Um, is that Western Australia or Eastern Australia? I don't know. Can you, I, it depends on remember. which side you grill them on. So bronze on oh. one side and shrimp on the other. Yeah, exactly. Okay, really thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, I thank you. I appreciate that. Which one's Thor from? Pardon? Which one's Thor from? Um, who's Thor? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I never thought about it Thor, that way. Thor Johnson. <laughs> who is Thor? <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, who is any of us? Wow. Yeah. So this deep. What happens so on? That's why we have a memory of Dory. <laughs> so finding, yourself, finding yourself, our yourself. podcast that, that we named the show. About finding Nemo. That's right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Crush. Appreciate it. It just says Travis. Okay. <laughs> Travis, who are you? Do you think Travis has seen this movie? Yeah. Oh, he has. Seen he has it. seen this movie. He's not even waiting for the bit to play out now. Oh yeah. We just we just have a soundboard with him on it now, with just a yes or no button. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this one says, "This is our favorite weekly topic. Uh, how is this like fondue?" Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. So oh, that was like one, one of my. How is this like fun? Well, like, one of so my favorite, favorite bonus features on the on the DVD was the uh, the Finding Nemo recipes um, and mm -hmm. the fish fondue. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah. know, if you haven't tried it, it's really good. Fish uh, fondue. The fish fondue. That's what you made at the, the movies by minutes at home cook along. Yeah. Right? You made that yeah. fish fondue. Yeah, made it totally I, from scratch. I was so, so impressed. Cook, yeah. Cooking by ingredients. I actually, <laughs> I think I, I think I had to miss that one um, for work. Can you tell me, was the fish in the fondue or did you dip fish in cheese? It's it's both. It's actually it's um so you make... it's a chowder. It's a it's a fish and corn chowder. Then you're mm -hmm. dipping fried mm -hmm. fish into mm -hmm. the chowder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I may um, never eat again. Yeah, just wrap that in bacon and you melt a slice of American cheese on top. And uh, I think that's the desire. You got me back at bacon and then you American um, cheese. Yeah. This is a whiz town, man. Okay. Yeah. You do the whiz. You've got to pander to the um, locals. All right, well, everyone, I've, I've got a hard out, so I need to get going. Oh, right. But we've Sorry, got thank you for we've got George coming in to handle yeah, our our next movie. Okay. Thank you. Oh my God, it's Way to Do Admitted. It's here. Ah, I did it! Yeah! So big surprise. This is the debut of Way to Do Admitted. We've we been Rick here. It's a Rick roll. Uh, the doors are locked. We're not stopping until we Rick, figure this you, fucker out. I swear, if you hit random and it says Dune. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Um, oh. Yeah, we're Oh, bend it like Beckham. Yeah, it's, that one's very close to Dune. And my heart. Basically the same thing. <laughs> My funny, funny thing about that, my... Um, oh, is it, are you going to tell the time, the story about a time you wore a diaper in a fighting ring? No, no, I, I think we tell that, you know, every fifth enough. episode. I'm I think sorry, the I'll listeners heard, I know, heard that terrible. story. I know, it's terrible, the fans always write I, well, I was just going to say, my, uh, my wife Catherine is actually named after Catherine Deneuve. Um, What's that to do with um, well, no, we're talking about Dancing in the Dark. Oh, we're back um, on that. Okay. All right. All right. Oh has oh has, has your go, wife, dude. Catherine? Oh, there we go. Here oh, we are. Um, wait, this is the wrong I'm one. I'm unfamiliar but, with this fine. film. This, this is, is which which what, one what is, is this Sting? monstrosity? Where's yeah. Where's the diaper man? Where's the pug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the name 19, of the podcast, type, by the way. Where is the diaper it. man? Yeah. We've been asking that for thirty years. Try 1984, my dude. My dude. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, well I mean, um, okay. Rick is going to wind up on a list. <laughs> Rick has discovered our favorite, uh, one of our favorite segments, which is Google dude flavored the movie boobies. poster. <laughs> Sandy. So Liz, that's, that, that's that good, good stuff. Hey, Liz, have you seen this movie? I have seen one minute of this Literally movie. one minute of this movie. <laughs> one 60 seconds. You want to tell him why, movie. George? Hey, why don't you tell us why, Liz? Because uh, you won't let me watch the movie until we cover it one you minute at a time. You have to do it right. Somebody wants schedule recordings. Uh, so, uh, okay, wow. Yeah, this got real, huh? No, they're talking about Sting. They're talking about Sting. 
Because you should always only talk about Sting. Oh, there he is. Sting is a beautiful man. Wait, what is happening? Why? Okay. All right. All right. So I got it. This is Movies by Mix-Up. So we're... That's a dream cast. This is is Movies by Mix-Up. Here we go. Oh, no. It's gone. Oh, it's back. It's back in my heart. Hey, Kim, have you ever seen this movie? Never. Never even heard of it. I think we found a new Travis. (laughs) Hey, hey, Kim, based on this... Just this poster here. What do you say this movie's about? What, What do you... What do you think this movie's about? Tell Give us. A Tell us a synopsis, synopsis of this. A synopsis of this. Well, we have what looks like a knight in shimmering armor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, a man carrying, uh, is that a semi-automatic or a giant sword? Uh, uh, it's a replacement uh, for his penis, but yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, there's a lot going on in the it's air. A lot of, of spaceships. It's called a thumper. Okay. Yeah, no, that's true. It is actually true. I'm not kidding. It's called what? It's called a thumper. A thumper? A thumper? Yeah. A thumper. That's what he's holding? It does not yeah. look like a rabbit. It's it, a it does not do what you think it does. Oh, Ooh. that's too bad. Although it does summon a worm, which I guess... <laughs> <laughs> I mean... What's what's that um, blue ball in the back? It's a metaphor, yeah. You okay. can't. Yeah. All right. And that sting. Yeah, the the one that sting. Legitimately, yeah. that is tantric. Sting. Okay, that's tantric sting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I will see Dune. I'll watch Dune. <laughs> a place beyond your dreams. A movie beyond your imagination. So it's about drugs. That's mm-hmm. so much drugs. Oh yeah. yeah hey, we yeah. need to get Tyler up here because hey, he's got a lot to Tyler, say about Dune. I've heard. Uh, and so for... we wanted to make sure we got him on way to Dune, whatever this is. Way to do flicky is what we're calling this. Doing it. Uh, Tyler is, uh, he's got a weird French it's the last bad boy name. podcasting, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know we were gonna have the well, bad boy yeah, podcasting yeah. I got on. Jack. You know how it is, rocking. Oh, he's Frenchin. He's Frenchin. Uh, hey, Tyler, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Oh, I forgot. I don't have to improvise. We this. don't really. It's just care. gonna be on the screen. Oh yeah, you don't have to come up with this. I was gonna. I had. I don't have to think of anything funny. Oh yeah. All right. Cool. So All right. the thing with Dirty Dancing is not about Elizabeth Shue. Um, Jennifer you're Beck. right. It's not about Elizabeth Shue. <laughs> it's not. You're right. You're right. It is not about Elizabeth Shue. It's not about Elizabeth Shue. Not about Elizabeth Shue. <laughs> She's doing babysitting while this is happening. Okay. It's not about. Or Karate Kid dating or something like that. I don't know. It's not about Bruce Willis either. Correct. No, no, no actually, no, not at all. Yeah. You, Listen, you're doing a great job, Bad Boy They're also not appearing in this film. (laughs) It's about rubbing your pelvis as close as you can onto another person as possible. Mm. Those are the lessons that kids need to learn. And rubbing is racing. Yes. These are the most important life lessons, and that's what we talk about here on Kim. What's our podcast called again? Um, Clean Living. (laughs) <laughs> all right clean living dirty dancing that's our please, t-shirt please. check them in the lobby you'll uh got merch you out know there you wanted them? it's good to go um uh, tyler a question what's your favorite part is it the dirty or the dancing in this movie well i just think it's the it's the two d's at the beginning of the word I'm... oh yeah no okay a good pair of double d's that. also yeah. does it and tyler nobody puts baby in a what fountain yes, <laughs> yes. Unless you're in Philly, and that's the most comfortable place to be. Yeah, it's a baby fountain, by the so, way. Okay, so here's my yeah. question, though. Because as we all know, on this podcast, we dissect how these movies relate to Eastern philosophy. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you had to choose an Eastern philosopher to apply mm-hmm. and compare this movie's message to, yeah. who would you go with? Listen, I, I can't. Well, he's not Eastern. You've chosen the wrong philosopher. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with Get Out. Uh, so there's a lot of, um, I'll say Confucius here. Uh, and it's, you know. it's got no, Usually Confucius says. Well, so, but, but it's my like, podcast. You're saying not, Confucius. Okay. Yes, because okay. it's not oh, okay. his podcast. Okay. He's not here today. Uh, but he has a lot to say about filial piety and like uh, listening to your parents. And I think... What we learn is that baby has to turn to her father uh, to solve her problems because she has not had to solve problems on her own before. And when children are not made to solve their own problems, all they know is to come back to their family, filial piety. 
I, I firmly believe that Confucius would put baby in a corner. 100%. One hundred percent. And in Confucius that corner, say, corner, there's a fountain in that corner. There is. It's a baby fountain. <laughs> it's very, very uh, gross. And he definitely, Confucius never carried a watermelon. A watermelon? <laughs> you said water ice? <laughs> Super right. good at pandering to the locals. Here's my other question. Is, is it cat skills? Is it cats kill? Yes. Or is it cat skill? Both. It wonder. It depends on what you're looking for that weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Cat the entire mountain com. range is sponsoring this. <laughs> yeah. Cat is that a talking com, cat? Where you go to get your cat to learn Adobe Photoshop, anything in the creative suite, really. Uh, yeah. Excel. Cats learn to code. Cats, cat fun. Skills com. And our cats are now on uh, Skillshare. So cat Skillshare. Mm -hmm. The corner. The watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, actually, Nicholas play Nicholas, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, super. We just edit it out. That's yeah, we'll fix that in post. Uh, Nicholas Cage plays um, Penny. Yeah, we Penny, got everybody. The backside of no, Nicholas Cage just play everyone. He's going to do on a uh, he's going on a theatrical oh, revival. He's doing like the uh, he's doing like the clumps he's version doing of every Dirty Dancing. Every character in Dirty it, Dancing. On it's stage. like adaptation where he's on screen with himself. He, he lifts himself. Yeah. He does the lift it's himself. It's like Spider-Man turning out the dark. Honestly, it is more the, wires. It's the only way to successfully do that lift. Yes, yes. I've tried. And that's what Kanye myself. said. He said, lift yourself. <laughs> yes, yes. There was an ostrich. There's a swan. Dirty dancing? Well, they couldn't afford a swan, so they had to get an ostrich. And that's been Clean Living with your Dirty Dancing Woo! friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody, get your plugs in. Get your plugs in. Tyler, tell us where I can find you. Oh, yeah. Um, so you can find me sitting on the street corner begging for not nickels right unless you have buffalo nickel but if you have dimes but before they started making putting eisenhower on them okay. then Ooh, yeah no screw that guy i know right so you i don't want to be, be found <laughs> i will be sitting on the street corner of every top 50 city in america so check my website um for dates dime dime time dot pizza for mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. I will be in your Dime top time was taken. What? Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> dot pizza wasn't. Okay. Okay. And then you can catch me outside. Outside. Catch yeah. Outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kim, your plugs. Hopefully, make more sense than that. Yeah, I'll be found in Robin's arms. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Did you know that Robin has a girlfriend? That's not me. I no, Did you know I think we're shit. you. I think it's this you. This is a podcast exclusive. Did you know in my circles, he's called um, Rob, uh, Kim's boyfriend? Oh, nice. Ooh. It's true. We flipped the, the script on that. Mm -hmm. Robin, Robin has a girlfriend. Kim has a boyfriend. The you podcast. can find me in the club. The podcast. The bar. <laughs> <laughs> also at bogwitch.fun. <laughs> we have purchased that URL. All right, well, uh, Liz. Uh, no, that's, those were my plugs. Where can we find oh, you? Oh, um, you can find me in the bathroom because I really have to pee. So I will catch you guys next time, and uh, we'll uh, next time. We're going to end with our, with our in unison catchphrase. Yeah. One, two, two three. three. We are Nicholas Leo. Cage in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jonathan, especially for hosting most of this. Thank you. Any, if you see somebody wearing a shirt that says crew at the bottom, thank them. They all have jobs and lives, and this takes in a surprisingly a lot of a, a lot of work and coordination, and and me hand, holding a microphone and refusing to let it go. I have them all. We love you. We hope to see you in Indianapolis. Tip your bartender. Good night. Also, I think we're going to go descend upon La Chinesca down the street and make another restaurant of the local Philly area hate us. Tip them well. And next year may not be in August. So avoid that heat.